Okay, this is my homemade generator. Basically, all it is is a salvaged uh, Craftsman Honda lawnmower engine and an alternator. Ordered a plate from a company uh, called Epicenter. Basically, it's just a, a plasma cutout piece of steel with some mounting brackets. And when I pulled the lawnmower engine off of the, uh, the deck, I got a puller, went and borrowed it from AutoZone, and, and unscrewed the mower blade, used the puller, pulled the, uh, the bracket off, bolted it to this plate using uh, some inch long extensions and, and it longer bolts by about an inch because where the pulley meets, the shaft is longer than the pulley on the alternator. So in order to make them equal up on the... Uh, See if you can see that. In order to make them equal up, I had to had to uh, extend the mower up. So just put a, a pulley on there, put a belt, then zoom in so you can see. This is the cable that goes to the emergency stop on the uh, push mower. You know the portion that you have to squeeze down in order to keep it to running. I pulled that off and then I just w took a piece of wire and wired it to a washer. Now what that'll do is for an emergency stop I just pull this off and it'll stop. But it's always wired to be on. I bought a wiring uh, clip for the alternator, but you could just use spade clips. Wired that to a switch, and then it just comes out to some battery harnesses. Now this switch is important because what it does is it activates the uh, voltage regulator. So when you start the lawnmower, you want to make sure that it's switched off because if it's switched on, you're trying to start the mower while you've got pressure on the, uh, the alternator. So you turn it off, get it started, then you turn it on, it'll put electricity out to the, uh, the batteries. Now I'm not going to start this because I don't have a battery yet and you need to have a battery in order to, uh, to start the uh, voltage regulator. So once I get a battery, and I uh, make some sort of bracket here so that I can mount my switch, uh, maybe put a voltage meter or something on there, and then make a smaller cable for my throttle and attach that here too. Then we'll, we'll do another video and we'll show it running and showing it charging. My idea is to make another box and mount three uh, batteries in series with a uh, with an inverter and use that to uh, either use my solars and with the generator as a, uh, a backup and also I've, I've read and I haven't experimented yet that if you've got three batteries sometimes you can uh, you can weld so we're gonna try that if this works real good, I'm probably also going to buy another plate because the plate was only like 20 bucks. A lot easier to do that than cut something out of plywood. Get me another salvage generator and make an alternator welder. So you can uh, stay tuned for that. And I'm also planning on making this propane powered so that I can use it on propane or uh, wood gas. So, but I just want to show you this generator. It's a pretty good idea. And when we go on the blog, we'll post, you know, the parts list and where to get everything. So, appreciate it.